Keep our forests green. Keep our oceans blue. Mother Earth needs you. Good afternoon. My name is Alisha Banerjee and I am going to do a project on forests with my friends. Denisha Sabawat, Nidhi Shri and Pratika. The, the first program will be a small speech delivered by Pratika Devata. Pratika, please continue. Yeah. A forest is a piece of land with many trees. Forests are important and grow in many places around the world. They are an ecosystem which includes many plants and animals. Many animals live in forests and need them to survive. Forests are our lifeline. We all depend upon forests in some way or the other for survival. Forests forest provide us with fresh air to breathe, food, medicines and other sources like wood, fodder, and other raw materials for the industries. Forest prevent soil erosion and hold the earth firmly. Forests being the lungs of the earth have been a home and a source of li- livelihood for millions of animals, plants, trees, and also human beings. For thousands of years now, it has provided food and shelter and continues to provide the same to th- living things since the beginning of time. Temperature and rainfall are two most important things for forests. Many places are too cold or too dry for them. Forests can exist from the equator to near the polar regions, but different climates have different kinds of forests. In cold climates, conifers dominate, but in temperature zero and tropical climates, forests are mainly made up of flowering plants. Different rainfall also makes different kinds of forests. No forests exist in deserts. Just a few trees in places where their roots can get uh, get it some underground water. There are various types of forests in the world with their own specific characteristics and a signature blend of trees and animals that they, ho- that they house. Each forest has its own contribution in providing livelihood to human beings and other animals. But unfortunately, due to events like globalization, industrialization, population explosion, agriculture expansion, and various other reasons, forests are being cut down without realizing the impact that it will have on the planet. The number of trees has reduced, leading to less pumping of oxygen into the atmosphere on one hand and increase in emission of carbon dioxide, nitrogen and other toxic gases into the atmosphere. On the other hand, leading to climate change and global warming. The effects of deforestation can be seen in the melting of glaciers, leading leading to floods and famine around the world. From climate change to extinction of animals to soil erosion and desertification, deforestation will have a long-lasting and fatal impact on the earth and its ecosystem. The sooner we realize the importance of saving forests in our life, the better it will it the better it is for us as well as for us for our future generations. Thank you. In our textbook we have a diagram on a forest. So I'll about I'll be explaining this diagram. This figure represents the activities in a forest. Trees perform photosynthesis in large numbers in forests, hence they are called green lungs. This tree also has a monkey climbing on it, proving that the forests are home to animals. Below the tree, decomposers are working on the leaves on the forest floor. This figure gives us, gives us a slight idea that forests are like cities with bustling life with animals and other organisms with a pinch of natural processes. For the next program, I'm going to recite a poem called The Farmer and a Tree, which is written by me. This poem is about how we can save forests. The Farmer and a Tree. A farmer says to a tree, would you cut your friends for me? The tree declines politely by saying, without us, whom are you going to be? The farmer was confused and answered, I'm a man. I don't need you. The tree sighed quietly, saying, let's take a look at your life, shall we? The farmer knew that his life was dependent on plants, but what did the forest have to do with it? He said, you know, this is the tree, and the tree nodded, saying, you're ruining your commitment to plants and trees if you wanted this tree to split. 
The realization hit him like a truck. He apologized to the truth and said, I'm very sorry. I shouldn't have asked you to split the other sheets. His son, a famous writer, wrote a tale on this matter. The whole world knew, and this became the topic of their chatter. So friends, you see how this farmer learned a lesson. Let me ask you all a question. Is it a difficult thing to do to plant a tree? If the whole world did this, who would be happier, won't we? Forests are our lifeline, you say. It's just probably a word for you and me. But for a forest and a tree, it is a plea for them to be free. Trees are like a town, and forests are like a city. So for mankind and the animal kingdom, please have mercy on trees and forests and give them some pity. Thank you. So there will be a speech on types of forest delivered by Nidhi. Nidhi. Types of forests. Tropical evergreen forests. An evergreen forest is a forest made up of evergreen trees. They occur across a wide range of climatic zones and include trees such as conifers and holly in, in cold climates. Eucalypts, live oak, exias, and banks in more temperate zones and rainforests trees in tropical zones. Tropical evergreen forests are found in Maharashtra, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Tropical deciduous forests. Tropical deciduous forests are the most wide, widespread forests of India. They are also called the monsoon forests and spread over the region receiving rainfall between 200 centimeters and 70 centimeters. Trees of this forest type shed their leaves for about six to eight weeks in dry summer. Temperate evergreen forest. Temperate evergreen forests are restricted to he heavy rainfall areas of the Western Ghats and the island groups of Lakshadweep, Andaman, Nicobar, upper parts of Assam and Tamil Nadu coast. They are their best in areas having more than 200 centimeters of rainfall with a short dry season. Temperate evergreen forests are found in the United States, Canada, Europe and Asia. Temperate deciduous forests. Temperate deciduous for, forests or temperate broad leaf forests are a variety or a variety of temperate forests dominated by trees that lose their leaves each year. They are found in the warm, moist summer and cold, cool winters. Temperate deciduous forests can be found in the eastern part of the United States and Canada, most of Europe and part of China and Japan. Now, the last thing will be a small PPT uh, presented by Linisha. Linisha, go ahead. Forest. Forest is a natural habit 
habitat for many different kinds of plants and animals. Forests provide food and shelter for animals. Some common animals found in forests are lion, tiger, elephant, monkey, bee, zebra, jackal, bison, boar, snake, porcupine, and crocodile. Except. Some common types of plants found in forest are trees like tea, bamboo, fig, sal, shisha, neem, palas, fire, amla, oxygen, etc. Forests also have several kinds of shrubs, herbs, and grasses, climbers, creepers, etc. Products we get from forests. We get several useful products from forest like wood, spices, gum, oils, honey, seeding bags, can tissue, food for animals, medical plants, etc. Characteristics of trees in forest. The branchy part of a tree above the stem is called the crown of the tree. The crown of trees have different shapes. The branches of tall trees look like a roof over the other plants in the forest. This is called the canopy. Trees have different heights, crowns, shapes of leaves, flowers and fruits. The biotic components of forest ecosystems. Producers like autotrophs, photosynthesis, Consumers like heterotrophs, aerobic respiration, and decomposers. Balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. During respiration, plants and animals take in oxygen and release carbon dioxide. During photosynthesis, plants take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen. So plants help to maintain the oxygen and carbon dioxide balance in the atmosphere. This is why forests are called green types of forest. Why are forests important? One, they, they create oxygen. Two, natural habitat of various types of animals. Three, it affects the water cycle. Four, important source of raw material. Five, it provides timber products like paper and furniture. Six, it provides non-timber products like medicines or herbs. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. Thank you. That's it for this uh, presentation. Thank you so much.